world and his wife from Europe has beat a path to his door. And uh, still, we don't seem to know whether or not he really is planning an invasion or if he's just playing Russian roulette. Well, he, he might be doing that. Uh, I think, however, that the evidence is that he continues to be very much preparing for an invasion. We've seen in the last 48 hours um, bridges being built over the Pirat River uh, between Belarus and Ukraine, field hospitals being constructed. Uh, some Many of the units that have been involved in exercises in Belarus and southern Russia have moved now into positions from which you would think that they uh, would launch an attack. Um, all of the combat air is in place, the missile systems, the artillery. So we are very, very concerned. And what we're seeing on the ground is not matching the rhetoric from Russia. At all, Mr. Heapy, do you think there's any credibility or uh, any areas where the Russians have reasonableness uh, on their side, that it's reasonable to engage in negotiations with them, that in other words, they may have a point on certain things? So, well, look, it's definitely reasonable to enter into negotiations because the alternative is either uh, President Putin just remains with a sort of vice-like grip uh, around Ukraine, which would be destabilizing for Ukraine's economy, for its politics and for its security, um, or he crosses the border into Ukraine. And I think that really is still the most likely thing that he is preparing for. Um, and we end up with a war in which tens of thousands of people die, both military and civilian. So the idea that we should you, you would, negotiate you would, would you diplomacy dis absolutely should be the case, yes. Yeah. So, so you, you could see a scenario where we would go to war over this? No, not, I don't, to be clear, I can. I think that President Putin is preparing to cross the border into Ukraine. Uh, I don't know whether he has made a decision to do so once and for all yet, but I just observe what I what we're all seeing uh, with troop movements towards Ukraine. Really important to be very clear with your viewers and indeed with President Putin himself that Ukraine is not a member of NATO. The UK has brought uh, all but a small team of troops that are protecting the ambassador in Kyiv. Everybody else has left the country. All of the training mission uh, that had been going on in Ukraine for the last 10 years uh, has departed. And the UK would not play, nor would NATO play, an active part in any conflict in Ukraine because Ukraine is not a NATO member. We are, however, reinforcing NATO's eastern borders to reassure our allies and to make crystal clear to President Putin that that line in the Washington Treaty, that an attack on one is an attack on us all, still very much applies, and that NATO is watching very carefully indeed. But, but clearly Putin doesn't care. I mean, he knows that everybody is watching him. He knows that. But presumably, if he does walk into the Ukraine, where does that leave NATO? Where does that leave Britain? Where does that leave America? Do we just have to stand by and watch this happen? Well, first and foremost, he won't just walk into Ukraine. I think it's important that he and the people around him know that the Ukrainians are a proud nation. The Ukrainian military is vastly better equipped and prepared now than it was in 2014 when he annexed Crimea, uh, and that he will face the most incredible fight if he tries to achieve his objectives militarily. Um, I think that, you know, he, uh, I don't think he has achieved what, he wants. You know, in his essay on the historical unity of Russians and Ukrainians, he clearly made a case for uh, the fact that Ukraine shouldn't exist, and it is indeed part of Russia. Um, I think he believes that. But he also has made demands around pushing NATO away from Russia's borders, trying to get countries that have joined NATO since the Cold War to be made to leave, uh, commitments from the US that it wouldn't put certain weapon systems into the European continent, and he wants to see Russia back at the top table of international diplomacy. Let's all be clear that he will ch achieve precisely the opposite if he goes ahead with this. Russia will be cast out, he and his ministers will be cast out as international pariahs. The economic sanctions will be wide-ranging and severe, both on the Russian government and on the elites that surround President Putin. Uh, NATO will reinforce its eastern borders, not pull away. The US will re-engage in the Euro-Atlantic, not carry on 
uh, on its current trajectory towards the Indo-Pacific. So everything that President Putin thinks he wants to achieve at the strategic level, beyond any territorial gain he seeks uh, in Ukraine, he will fail to achieve if he crosses that border.